No family is safe while CPS is operational. Michigan, hundreds of thousands of parents have been flagged as child abusers in a huge database maintained in secret by Michigan's Child Protective Services, CPS, agency. The names are entered into the database without due process, without a judicial hearing, without an opportunity for defense, without a conviction, and without even letting the individuals know they have been targeted. The list is called the Michigan Child Abuse and Neglect Central Registry. It reportedly contains the names of 275,000 abusive parents currently in that state alone, as Fox 5 reported. Most people on the list have no idea they have been put there. They have not received convictions, a trial, or even notification. In our constitutional system, they can't cut off your electricity or welfare benefits without giving you a fair hearing first. But in Michigan, they can put you on the black list of child abusers, and they don't have to give you a hearing, and that's written in the law, says attorney Elizabeth Warren. Getting on the CPS database is like a scarlet letter that can negatively affect the lives of those who have blacklisted. Many good names have been smeared through unproven allegations. I can't foster, I can't get a job anywhere said Helen Miller of Battle Creek, who had been unfairly labeled a child abuser. The list has grown so large because CPS staffers can enter names easily, by the push of a button as Warren described, with no oversight. Meanwhile, it is very difficult for a flagged person to get his or her name removed. Current law is set up to keep the names on the list for life. The only recourse is for the accused person to go before a judge and attempt to prove his or her innocence, since the guilt has already been assigned in the eyes of the state. Across the country there is abundant data that says that these registries are unreliable, says Warner. So, it's of no use to anybody to protect children. Michigan CPS boss Colin Parks, source, ABC 7's Eyes. CPS ringleader Colin Parks says it just doesn't make sense to give everyone due process. The agency's intervention in 80,000 families per year would produce a volume of judicial hearings that the state isn't willing to pursue. Out of all of those cases, the expectation that somebody would be able to review those decisions would be a very time-consuming task, Parks said. Michigan CPS has had a colorful record of violating families. The case of Marianne Godboldo, a single mother from Detroit, stands out as one of the most offensive. When she took her daughter off of the psychotropic drugs that were causing her harm, CPS bureaucrats labeled her a neglectful mother. A SWAT team was sent to abduct the child and see that she was drugged by force. Police held an armed standoff outside the home when Godboldo resolved to protect her daughter by any means necessary.